Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Voxel Tycoon. This is the uh, Great Expanse. Yeah, it's the Great Expanse. That's right. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we've uh, accomplished over the past few episodes, including expanding our truck fleet, or, or rather upgrading our truck fleet, and also getting uh, various research underway. Uh, we're um, mostly, we're getting close to done rail cars too. Now, Rail Cars 2 is going to uh, give us uh, better uh, rail uh, cars for transport, and that will definitely be good. After that, uh, we're going to do some other uh, research. But what I'm going to work on now is get, getting started on the mega factory that I'm going to set up in this area here, right? Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to level the ground out. And we have 24.5 million, so leveling the ground out shouldn't be too uh, much of a dent in our uh, resources. I'm going to come up to about here. Uh, yeah, and we'll uh, level stuff out. Uh, I'm leveling it because it's going to be easier to manage the uh, factory development if we don't have uh, varying elevations in the way. Uh, so I'm going to level a fair chunk of space here to about down here. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to drop, uh, you know, a few million on this. And that's fine. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to do this largely now as opposed to uh, dropping the uh, cash piecemeal later. Uh, okay, so we've spent about 10 million flattening stuff out here. That's not the entire area the factory is going to take up ultimately. Uh, actually, let's just flatten a little bit more up here. Right. Uh... This is, of course, uh, somewhat uh, excessive, right? Why? If you're wondering why I did that, it's just because I like straight lines. Uh, right, okay. So this here is going to be the core of the mega factory, right? Now we've got 14 and a half million to play with now. Uh, so we, we've dropped 10 million on the uh, terraforming, right? But that's fine. Uh, now... What do we need to produce first? Well, I think what I want to get uh, sorted out first is uh, the, well, that's going to depend on what we research. We want to research first, I think. Um, now, uh, so, I've been putting a little bit of thought into how I want to uh, manage the uh, factory operation. And I think what I'm going to need to do is have uh, several drop-off stations for rail bringing in the raw materials, right? Uh, I'm going to need a fairly high capacity one for iron, iron ore, and a reasonably high capacity one for coal. And those ones, and also a high capacity one for wood. Copper, uh, sand, and stone won't need as much capacity. So, uh, let's start out with, um, well, let's start out by building a train station, right? Uh, so, we're going to want a station uh, which is going to be a uh, freight station a freight station two i think yeah range 130 meters yeah okay yeah so we'll do a freight station two and we will uh make it maximum length 250 meters Right, and uh, we're going to put, uh, we're going to have 
I guess. Uh, well, if I put three tracks, I can handle the... Um, well, actually, if I put six tracks, I'll be able to handle the ore drop-offs nicely here. Okay, so we're going to put it this way, and I'm going to put it right about here. Yeah. Bam. Okay, and this is going to be uh, factory or drop-off. Okay, so this one is going to get the iron ore and the copper ore. And I'm going to uh, drop in here uh, a large warehouse over here, a couple of those. Uh, okay, so if we put one... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that and I'll put, uh, do I need, do I want just, you know what? I'll uh, rejig the warehouses later. So this will be iron and this will be copper. Yeah. And what we're going to do is also, we're going to add another station. Uh, which is going to be coal and sand, which I think, I think I'll go with four tracks on that. And if I put it right side by side, we get, we get in range where we can put, you know what? Uh, I could bring stone in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, so if we do this. Yeah, so this one's going to be uh, factory, coal, sand, stone. Drop off. Uh, right. Right. You know, it'd be nice if these this was was longer. We just call it drop. Okay, so that's um, and that will all reach warehouses over here, and then we're gonna want uh, wood, but I'll uh, figure that out later. Now. Uh, we're going to want, just for uh, clarity, we're going to put this and this and this. So this will be coal, this will be sand, this will be stone. You know what? I could do this two tracks for each material. I could get the uh, wood into one of these as well. I could, yeah. And then if I had a, uh, hold, I had a couple of holding tracks for, uh, for each one. Yeah, that might work. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll look at that uh, later. Right. So what we want to do, uh, so if I put in here, well, let's uh, put one more warehouse. Uh, and this is going to be wood. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, do something else with these warehouses, but I just put those there as placeholders uh, for the moment. Now, uh, and I can build some stuff on this side as well. So I'm going to start on this side here. And I'm going to, I'm going to start out with, uh, uh, well, I'm going to actually uh, 
I should I notice the research is finished. So let's uh, go looking in here. Uh, so Rails 3 needs uh, steel bars. Uh, researching, that's no good. Uh, woodworking 2 needs some stuff. Let's go back. Let's go over to the factory. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? We have... Uh, we have... Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, we can do... Heavy diesel to no. Uh, steam to no. Signals to heavy diesel no. Okay, that one needs gravel. Um, that one needs steel. Ah, electric engine is uh, iron bars and uh, circuits okay uh okay so what have we got here sand we don't need um did i get steel production up online over here uh i don't remember uh that is No, I didn't. Uh, okay. Well, if we produce a, a few steel bars. Yeah, we could produce a few steel bars. But I'm thinking I might be better doing that over at the factory. Uh, wood's depleted by 50%. Uh, right. Uh, that's going to happen. So in the factory, I can produce some steel bars. Well, that means I'm going to need a uh, one of these, uh, which will be for coal. And I will need one of these, which is for uh, iron ore. Yep. Now, there is a layout for a uh, smelting operation that is pretty uh, dense for uh, uh, right alloy smelter, yeah, where we can do things pretty dense here. Uh, so basically, we want to take one, uh, one iron ore smelter and feed it into two steel smelters. Um, okay, so, uh, and each of those will need to have coal coming into them up the middle. Okay, so if we do this, um, okay, so these ones, so if we do this, and how does it go? Was it like this? Yeah, I think it was. Okay. Yeah, like this. Okay. Let's do uh, two setups like that. Okay, so this will be iron bar production here. And this will be steel bars. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's down tempo this now. Uh, we're going to now need to do some conveyor magic. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of these stubs. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, get rid of this, this, this. So when you're doing things this compact, you really want to do this at the moment, at least in this version, to avoid glitchiness. Uh, right. Good. Okay. Now, 
uh, we're going to have this connection and this connection, right? And we're going to have a, the coal connection is going to come across like this. And we'll bridge that, do this, bridge that, do this. Yep. And then these. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's coal coming in there. Coal coming in there. Coal coming in there. Yeah. And then we'll have iron coming in here. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll have another warehouse. Uh, which will be here and this will take steel bars right yes okay now we need uh, uh, okay now uh, okay so if we do that we need now uh, conveyor connectors connectors yeah so we need one here one here and one here yeah so you go like that and like that and like no like that yeah okay now they need to all go the right direction okay that goes that way that way that way that goes in that goes out that goes in that goes out that goes in it goes that way. Yeah, that goes in, 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 yeah, in, yeah, yeah. That's out, 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 out. There we go. So that's theoretically uh, correct. Okay. Now we need to bring iron and coal in there. So uh, first thing we need to do is go over here, find the iron mine, right? Do I want to bring it from that iron source or do I have one over here that's closer? We have sand, uh, coal over there, wood um, no stone no okay so I think we'll uh, we'll need to bring it over from over here right so we're going to come up here and put a station in and this will need Yeah, we'll do a two-track station. We'll put it back here. Uh, yeah, we'll put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Good. Uh, right. Now, we need a track coming out of here yeah and like this yep okay and we need a track going like no a track going like this yep which will come up this way okay now this one can come around like this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Do this. Good. Yep. 
Okay, now we just need to get a track all the way over here. Well, we'll start out on one track over here. Now we need to get across and I think along beside hmm yeah probably along this road is uh, reasonable enough no uh, yeah we'll come across this way uh, yep. Yeah. That doesn't get high enough. Okay. Right. That does. Um, yeah, we'll go with a beam bridge. Right, okay, that looks okay. Okay, now we need to get around this thing. Come across like this and down to here. Now, can we get away with single tracking this? Um, I wonder. Uh, right, so we'll uh, back that up. We'll uh, bring this out like this. Nope. Okay. Bring that out like this. Yeah. Now, if you do this, you can do this. Um, yeah, I think we can get away with this, right? Yeah, we can. Uh, good. Yeah, we can do that. Now, we're going to go here and we're going to tunnel this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll tunnel it across here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And we need to... Get over the road here. Yep. Now, we need to get way over there. So if we come out to about here, we can angle this up a fair ways. And then we can do this. Across and up. Yeah, that's a pretty long run. Uh, and we're going to need a run around here. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do a quick and dirty one. Uh, like this. Yeah. Okay, we do that. Uh, we can come up to here, and I think we'll uh, single track it across here. Uh, yeah, we'll single track it through that mess. And we'll come up here, and we'll run this double track down to about here. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that. It's not ideal, but it should work. Now we're coming in this way. So we're gonna need a few uh, signals. So we'll need a pre-signal here, and we'll need a signal there. We'll need signals coming out of here, and one here, yeah. And if we put one here, and we're gonna need a pre-signal here, 
a regular signal here. Yeah. Let me go all the way down here. Yeah. And we're going to need a regular signal here and a pre signal here. Yeah. And then here. Yeah, we just have the one platform over here, so we'll uh, just put some uh, signals along here just to uh, space things out a bit, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can leave that as is. Yep. Uh, and what I'm going to do also, I'm going to need a, uh, uh, I'm going to need a one of these. It's not ideal, but it'll work. Uh, we're going to need a depot. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Now we need to signal this as well. So we're going to need a pre here. Yeah. And we're going to need a regular one here. Yeah. Okay. So that will let us deploy a train. Well, let's deploy a train and uh, watch everything explode. Now, we want diesel, right? Um, now this one, so we want something with decent power. Uh, so this one, the TEP 60 would do okay. Yeah. The class 218, uh, might do okay as well. Um, I think, I think we'll go with that one and we'll, what? No, I clicked the wrong thing. Edit, add, we want iron ore. Okay, so an open iron ore, huh? So we'll grab uh, the open car. Well, I guess we can do this. Duplicate that. Duplicate that. Duplicate that. That takes us up to 137 meters. Duplicate that. 196. Duplicate that. 226. Yeah. So 14 cars. Right? So we'll apply the changes. Okay. Now we can go over here and we can go add stop here, load. And we can go in here to add stop here, unload. These will be full. Yeah. And we'll save it, right? And uh, this will be the end of this part of the project here, I think, for this episode. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to uh, close that. Uh, we're going to launch this and we're going to take a ride. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll clear those. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're driving across the... Uh, the whole um, map, pretty much, here.
Okay, now here we're going to drop under the town. Right. Oh, look, we popped up. Feels all nice and wintry here, doesn't it? Now, at some point, I'll probably we rebuild this uh, in my usual style with the uh, fancy uh, uh, fancy um, viaducts and so on. Uh, but for the moment, not so much. Okay, and we can stroll in here, and we should load up on uh, iron. We are loading up on iron. Right, okay. Now we can head back to the other spot. Okay, let's ride the back of the train. Right. Well, that looks fun. Okay, so uh, that gets us our first train deployed. Now, this isn't going to make us any money until we actually uh, start doing something with the steel we're going to be producing. And that's going to be requiring some coal to be delivered first. Which will take a uh, take a minute to, uh, to sort out next time. Whee! And we drop into the tunnel. And it drops you to the front of the train when you come into the uh, tunnel. And we'll drop back to the back of the train, I think, when the back pops out of the tunnel. There we go. Yep. That looks kind of fun, the train going up and up and down. And Okay. See, we can get away with these trains trundling along fairly slowly here. Yeah, what I'll end up doing, I think, at some point is running uh, bridge-type viaducts all the way through the uh, towns. And, uh, yeah, that will uh, allow the trains to stay on one level. Problem is, uh, we can't do intersections on bridges, so I'll end up having to... Uh, do that right and uh, okay we've uh, come across the uh, the depot now and now we're going to we're back to double track yep then there's our uh, factory setup. We're definitely going to be rejigging everything around this factory at some point. So uh, this is just a and d to get everything running. And yeah, here we go. You can see the smelters there over on the other side of the massive uh, station layout. And here we go. In we go.
Okay. Let's uh, jump out of here. Uh, right. So now we've got iron coming out the conveyor there. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put the cut here and then we'll get the coal online next time. And then it will be uh, doing something with the steel bars. Yeah, that should be fun. Right. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to have to uh, connect up the coal, which is up here. Um, I think I probably want to bring it down between the towns here. Um, or I just bring it through, through here, maybe. Yeah, I'll think about it when the, when I get around to doing that. Okay, so uh, that's going to be all for this time. So I guess uh, uh, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. There's some sort of light at the end of the tunnel, or so I've been led to believe. And then, of course, you can like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, or hit dislike even if you prefer. Uh, it's all, all up to you. Uh, you may or may not derive some sort of benefit from any action you may or may not take. So, you know, your mileage may vary. And see you back next time.